This tutorial will help you very quickly get your Buffalo wireless N150 wireless router up and running with the permanent broadband network. Now if you don't have wireless in your house at the moment then at the back of your modem you will have three cables. The power cable, a network cable which in our case is grey and the antenna which screws onto the back of the modem. At the moment one end of the network cable which is connected to the modem will be connected to either your desktop computer or your PC. Now the white unit itself is the wireless router. The black plug plugs into the mains and the other end plugs into the back of the router. There is a white network cable provided which you can use to connect your computer directly to the router. And there's a stand, so you can position the router upright if you wish. Now let's take a look at the ports at the back of the router from left to right. There is a black power plug port. The blue port is where you'll connect the permanent modem, and you can plug four other devices into the black ports. If you want to use the stand, simply clip it to the base of the unit, and you can then stand the router upright Make sure the antenna is pointing up for best transmission. Now connect the power cable to the back of the buffalo. Next, disconnect the cable that is currently connected to your desktop or laptop and plug this cable into the blue port at the back of the buffalo router. Then take the white cable supplied and plug one end into your desktop or laptop and plug the other end into one of the black ports at the back of the Buffalo router. Now pause this video and check that your connections are the same as shown. Connect the mains power plug to your mains and your router will now start a startup sequence. First of all the green power light will come on and a red diagnostic light will come on. The red light will remain lit for about 30 seconds while the router begins its startup checks. Once it passes all of its diagnostics, this red light will go out. When the red light goes out, the wireless light will come on. And this means that the router is now sending out a wireless signal. At this point, the router will attempt to get an IP address from the permanent modem. Once the router successfully obtained an IP address, the router light will turn on and become solid green. At this point, the router is fully connected and ready for use with the permanent network. To connect wirelessly, we advise that you watch our other tutorials which will explain how to connect your computer to a wireless network depending on what version of Windows you are using. We have videos done for Windows XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7. You will need to take note of the key which is at the back of the router on a label. Please note it is the key which you will need to enter, not the PIN number.